Welcome to Membrane Software. Today, we'll be demonstrating a software system that makes use of the Raspberry Pi camera module. The camera is mounted on a small board with a ribbon cable, which we plug into a socket on the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi boards can be mounted in a wide variety of cases. Here, we've chosen a case designed for use with the camera module, featuring mounting pins, and a small aperture. This particular case also happens to feature an outside surface capable of attaching Legos, making it possible to craft a crude stand from Lego bricks. Here, We've placed two of the Raspberry Pi cameras in front of a test scene with a Rubik's Cube, unsolved at the moment I'm afraid, and a screen that shows the time. To control the cameras, we use an Android application. This part of the interface shows status for our two cameras. We can pull a capture image from either camera by tapping on the item in the list. We can then, if we wish, reposition the cameras and use the tablet application to see how their viewpoints have changed. Keeping the tablet close at hand allows for easy aiming of the Raspberry Pi cameras. Of course, if we wanted, we could also place cameras in remote locations and check those from the tablet the same way. By programming a Raspberry Pi to capture images at fixed intervals, we can make it possible for our Android application to show a timeline view. Scrubbing through the images shows us how the scene has progressed over time, and from the top section, we can send commands to show images on any Raspberry Pi screens we have available. You may remember our Raspberry Pi screen controllers from a previous video. Here, we have such a screen, showing one of our timeline images. However, there is no need to limit ourselves to just one image. It's also possible to make the screen run through all of the images in our timeline, showing each one in sequence. This function can be controlled from our tablet application by selecting a start and end time and pressing the Run button. The Raspberry Pi's processor can be just a bit slow to load images and display them, and so we can't run through the timeline images quite as smoothly or as quickly as we would like. There are a number of possible ways around issues like that, and in the future we may look into them. But for now, we can simply speed things up for you in the video and show our scene as night turns to day.